And we're back everybody. We got the baler hooked to the truck or my truck. We're gonna be taking it down to the field. Hopefully be bailing the smaller field out there today. Well, and before we headed out there, we had some hay to put aside for customers before we stack uh, more in front of it. And we had to fix the moisture tester wire on the baler since it snapped because we had it too tight where it was on the tongue. So when he ended up turning really sharp one way, it ended up ripping apart. But we got a new one, 25 bucks for 25 feet. Not that bad. We're backing dad up to the accumulator because we're going to be towing it behind this trailer. Well, it's hooked up. We're ready to go. Well, we just made it. We're in the field drive now. You guys can see dad's behind me. We're going to pull down there and get everything hooked up. almost one trailer loaded over there and my dad's bailing up these outside rounds here so we can get them picked up and make our back and forths so we don't have to keep running over these and I'll get that other trailer taken back and he'll start loading that one Allie couldn't be here today because she had to work but we're getting it done without her sadly but it's going pretty well just sucks I can't fly the drone she's the only one that knows how right now and we don't have the time because it's supposed to rain tomorrow for me to be learning how to do it right now he said they're reading 10 to 12 percent moisture so that's great
So next time we're bailing, hopefully Allie can be here and run the drone and we can get a full process drone video of making Ohio clean grass hay. Well, there's one load ready to go home and I think we'll get three loads today and then I bet we have three loads tomorrow and then should be done, bailed up 32 acres. Well, we got back here with the uh, first load of hay. I'm gonna get it unloaded here into the barn. Well, Bud and Dad just got back with the other two loads. Uh, I had to take a break to sell some bales of second cut quick, so the stacks are changing here. But while we wait for the dew to burn off in the morning, we're gonna stack these and then we're gonna get on finishing baling. So we'll see you guys back here in the morning. Well, it's the next day and somehow it already rained uh, at five this morning. And we gotta get this hay unloaded now and we're not gonna be baling today. So we're probably just gonna have to get that field tetted out tomorrow. Maybe work on a few things today. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. But we're definitely have to go get the baler covered before because it's supposed to rain a little more later. Well, you can tell it's Ohio because now it's sunny. So I forgot the GoPro, but we went down, tried to rake and start baling before the rain came in, but the humidity in the air made the moisture too high. So we tetted those rows out and now that it got sunny out, my dad's gonna go back and check it here in an hour or two and see if we can maybe get it raked and start baling it. We only got about seven acres of that 30 acres to pick up but it would be nice to not have to let it get rained on, set it, and then pick it up. I'd like to do it today. Well, everybody, I'm back out here at the land to check on the hay. It's been sunny and very windy, as you can probably hear on the GoPro. Uh, I checked the hay, and it seems dry. I'm gonna try it out with the baler, see what the moisture reads, but Dad has the keys, so I gotta wait on him. We tarped the nodder and the bale that's still in there in case it was gonna rain but now they're showing we might have three or four hours of good weather so we got one more load to grab out here just this stretch over here and down and we should be good and they're calling for a flood warning now so hopefully we really can get this hay picked up because I don't want to be tending it back out and having to deal with all those problems my mom came with some lunch all the squares that came out since there was one string not going and no one noticed because the accumulator was full. There's one stack though. Well what ended up happening is I actually didn't run the string through the eye before the needle but he already restrained it once and it broke or something it came out again and it was attached to the pack that dropped so I'm not taking the blame for this one. Well, the wind roads are getting blown away, so I got a rake right in front of him bailing. Because if you let them sit for even 20 seconds, they'll blow away. We're just going to start picking up bales now. Hopefully we can get them picked up and back to the shop by the time it gets here. And this last little, uh, probably five rows left, it's just going to get wet and we're going to have to tend it back out. Well, it's the next morning. Video kind of stopped yesterday because it started raining. I started picking up bales, got these bales all to the trailer and started raining. They actually, it only rained for a hard minute and then stopped. So we already had them bailed. So we figured we'd just take them back and we were gonna set them on edge and salt both sides and stack them up. But he tested them with our hand meter this morning 
and they're only still at 10 to 12 so I don't know if the rain maybe only affected the outside layer but it doesn't even feel like it honestly so we're gonna leave them out to sit today and we'll see how it goes I think they'll just turn out fine now if the hay was still in the field we would tet it back out and rake it or before we raked and baled it but now since it was already baled we figured we could make it work and I'm happy that they're all at that good of a percentage of moisture so I think we'll be just fine but we're gonna head back out to the land because there's still probably 30 bales out there that need bailed up well they need Ted now the hay needs Ted out again and then raked and then we can bail what's left up there's yeah probably only three stacks not much which I'm happy we got that back here at least well I grabbed our hand meter so you guys could see we got 10 to 9, 11, 10, 7, try this one, 11, 1, I'd like to try it a good amount of time so we know. 10.5 or 10.9 yeah they'll work out just good so here's the hay that we got in the barn out of 30 acres we only average 25 bales to the acre so that's not good at all but a partial of the problem was like I brought up before in the tiling video we needed it sprayed while it was in the 70s they came and sprayed it in the 80s so that killed half of the grass stem and then we had two weeks of 92 to 5 degrees and no rain but the hay came out good looking what we got but 25 to the bales of the acre that really sucks well we got it raked and baled we ended up getting 44 bales out there of what was left we got everything hauled back skid and hay on my dad's trailer and the accumulator on the back and on the back of my truck the baler and then we got dropped back off there by my brother and picked up the rake in new holland and the coyote in the tether and we just got done driving them home thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe and comment on all the videos and check us out on facebook and instagram